We moved around a lot when I was growing up. Paris, Moscow, Tehran, then Bangkok, Vienna, and Geneva. And to every place that we went to, my mother would always bring me to a marketplace and ask me to choose one souvenir as a gift from that country. I was almost eight years old when we moved to Iran. My mother took me to the Grand Bazaar, and I went to one corner stall and saw shelves upon shelves of beautiful vases of shapes and sizes. And the vendor, upon seeing my interest, came down and in his broken English, proceeded to tell me the story of that vase. His story so touched me that I chose that as my gift from Iran. Three years later, the country was gripped by the Islamic Revolution. When the Shah finally left Iran, my father felt that it was dangerous to remain in the country. So he woke us up one night and he said to me and my brother, pack a bag just with a few clothes that you need. And if there is room, you can add one special item to your bag. I chose this vase. And to this day, this vase goes with me wherever I may live. The vase that we see today is made up of many things that we hardly recognize as glass. It is made up of sand, metal, breath, things that are quite ordinary, but when you add fire, something magical happens. But it has to be the right fire, the right temperature of 3,090 degrees Fahrenheit. Similarly, so much goes into the education of a child. The sand is the lectures, the tests, the quizzes, the papers. The metal, the young crush, the best friend. The breath, the teacher encouragements, the kind acts of kindness. The fire is the community in which this magical transformation can happen. And we never quite know how it will all turn out. But what we can control is creating an ideal environment and providing the best materials that we can. We hope that we have given enough so that the child can use what he knows, combine it with her creative imagination to forge ahead with their own purpose. The purpose of this vase, as intended by the maker, is different from the purpose that it provides me today. Here's the story that old man told me long ago. Once upon a time in ancient Persia, in ancient Persia, when a soldier goes off to war, he would give his wife a vase like this, and she was to cry into it to show him how much she missed him. And then when he came home from work or from the war, he would look at the vase and be comforted by the tears. <laughs> that story so captured my imagination as a little girl. And of course, I was too young to ask the vendor, what would happen if the vase were dry? <laughs> but I like to think, that this vase can also be used to hold a flower. Even from a time of heaviest sadness, beauty can emerge. And that is the true magic of education. It is transformative, turning that which is ordinary into something extraordinary.